Hello artists, welcome to virtual art lesson number four for quarter three. This lesson is for second through third grade, and of course with Mrs. Torres. So let's get started, guys. Hi. Um, just so you know, this month of February, this is Black History Month, so we're gonna be focusing on black artists. So this, for you guys, we're gonna be looking at Kendi Wiley. He's an African-American portrait painter who paints detailed portraits with bright, colorful, often flower-filled backgrounds. So our other vocab word to know is self-portrait, which is an artwork you draw of yourself. Now this one is not a self-portrait. This is our artist here. He usually just does lots of different paintings of people who are black or sometimes to call African-American. But you guys are gonna be using his style to create your own self-portrait. So our learning objectives are, I can draw a self-portrait and I can explain what Gandhi Wiley is best known for as an artist. Remember, He's best known for portraits, paintings of people. In fact, he was former President Obama's official portrait painter. And that is up in a, the National Museum. And every president that's ever been a president gets a, a formal painting down themselves. So this one is hanging up in the gallery. Pretty cool. Okay, so check out the next part of this video, guys, and you'll see more about what you are doing. All right, guys, today we are going to learn how to draw self-portraits. I did some lessons with kindergarten first, and I'm sure some of you guys might remember doing some of this before, but we always are going to start with a nice big oval. Remember, we're going to draw ourselves here today, guys. We're not going to be copying, just drawing Mrs. Torres. So make yourself a nice big oval. Go ahead and fill in a neck. And bring your shoulders out to the edge of the page. Now remember guys, if I am going too fast, you can always stop and pause the video, so don't panic. But make, I would really suggest working in pencil today, if you, so you can erase. Now that we got that done, we're gonna create some guidelines. Remember, these lines are gonna draw really light, so we're gonna erase them later. We don't need them to stay the entire time. So it's gonna look like we have a big giant letter T on our face right now. This guideline helps to make sure our face doesn't look too goofy and a, a shapen. I'm gonna go and draw some ears. Oh, it should be right near that line, so that way my ears are the same length. And then next, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add some circles. They're gonna cut right in half. And go ahead and make the line that touches here, goes across over, same thing. And then close your bottom. Remember to add a pupil. That's gonna be the black part of her eye. Go ahead and feel free to fill in if you'd like right now. We're gonna add a glare or reflection. Now, we're gonna do a bit of extra things that might not have shown up in the younger kids video. So I'm gonna have you guys go in. Part If you ever look at your eye really closely, you're gonna add this little line right here. So there's a little part, like the pink part with some muscle and tissue. So we'll just do that little thing right there. We're going to, of course, add our eyelids. Then we're going to make eyebrows. So make one line, two lines. Make sure, so notice my line's curving, guys. It's following the shape of our eye. Next, add a line up here. And we go back that way. It goes from thick to thin. So we got our eyes in. Not bad. Um, if you want, you can go in, you can add some eyelashes, just a little curvy lines. Now, we all technically do have eyelashes. I know some people say, oh, it looks too girly, but if you if you want to go ahead and check and take your fingers and touch your eyes just to be sure, but we all have them. Next, we're gonna make what's called the bridge of the nose. That is basically the part of our face that connects our nose interface you know so it's like a bridge that connects two things together so go ahead make those lines it goes right between the eyes and it's going to connect down here we're going to make kind of like a letter u and letter c i mean you can feel free to connect it all the way down if you'd like it's up to you what you want to do and once we have all that done, we can actually erase out these guidelines we were using earlier. They're no longer necessary. Now you have a choice here, guys. You can, we're gonna make a line for the mouth. 
If you want, you can choose to keep your mouth closed and to keep like a simple smile. You can draw it open by making it kind of like a half circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my, my mouth open with a half circle. And I'm gonna put a line through the middle and I'm gonna help make teeth. And of course I'm gonna go in and do lips. If you don't want to draw lips, you don't have to. I mean, we all do technically have lips, but I know sometimes it kind of looks more like lipstick for some people. Okay, we got that drawn in. We're gonna go ahead and add some details into our ears because our ears have lots of curves and folds in them. So go ahead. I'm gonna do it like this. This kind of looks like a letter S. And then we're gonna make a line in the bottom of like our ear lobe. Now the next part you guys have to do to make it more look like, look more like you is add your hair and add a t-shirt or necklaces or add it, things that make this look more like you. So go ahead, I'm not gonna draw mine because I don't want you copying. I want you to make yourself, okay? And hold on to this for next week, don't lose it.